all right, so why are you being dishonest with the court and making it seem as though, oh, they didn't terminate my rights. I, you know, I did everything. Welcome to FTO. All right, are you all ready to proceed on the motions to revoke? Yes, we are. Oh, my Cowboys fan is here. We were just discussing them. There's a Pittsburgh Steelers person you've been sitting next to. See how people can get along if they don't know who their teams are, I guess. All right. Uh, court is calling 2023 CR 1478 and 2023 CR 5264. State of Texas versus Kevin Michael Neuenfeld. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel State of Texas. Defense. Nope. Milton Butler representing Kevin Neuenfeld. And are you Mr. Neuenfeld? Yes, sir. Okay. And each of the cause numbers, did you review the document entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, sir. All right. And the cause number ended in 1478. Are you the same Kevin Neuenfeld who was placed on community supervision for the offense of assault family second offense? on July 20th, 2023 for a term of 10 years. Yes, ma'am. And in the cause number ending in 5264, are you the same Kevin Neuenfeld who was placed on community supervision for the offense of possession of a controlled substance, penalty group one, four grams to 200 grams on July 20th, 2023 for a term of 10 years, is that you? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. All right, state in each of the motions, are you proceeding on the same allegation? Yes. Any objection to the state reading uh, the allegation once and having your defendant plead true or not true to each of the, in each of the cause numbers? No objection. All right, state. Uh, violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, defendant Kevin Neufeld, defendant mayor, failed to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of March and April 2024, even violation of condition number how do you plead to that in each of the motions? True or not true? True, Your Honor. Our state waives all the violations. Any objection? No objection. All right. And the cause number ending in uh, 5264. Did you understand by pleading true? To the violation the court could find it true uh grant the motion yes, sir. and sentence you up to uh eight years in the prison and up to a 500 dollars fine yes sir. knowing that do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four in that cause number yes, did you understand by pleading true in the cause number ending in 1478 the court can find it sure, grant the motion, and sentence you up to eight years in the prison and up to a $500 fine. Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four in that cause number? Yes, Your Honor. Then in each of the cause number, the court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The proposed agreement is a 68 jail sanction. And it serves that case with All right. And probation? Judge, that's what we discussed, but I did defer to the court. All right. I'm, I'm not going to follow this agreement. I'm going to revoke you. He was previously here on January 23rd, 2024, for the same violation. It was a violation of condition number four. At that time, the court denied the motion, altered and amended his conditions to include CPS compliance, uh, no contact, sober meetings and the ua hotline and we are back here again for the same thing his not reporting he doesn't want to report your honor i think he'd like to address the court on that issue all right can you raise your right hand for me do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth so help you god yes your honor all right you can lower your hand state your name for the record kevin doing so all right what would you like to say i just wanted to let you know that i had a near death with my mom and family she ended up getting a tracheostomy or tracheotomy uh, at, at that point in time, it was March. I did report in, in February after getting out in January. I reported in March 
Uh, I reported February, I believe. March is when she went to the hospital. She didn't get out till April. And then right immediately after that, I lost my nephew that I helped raise as a son. He, a month before his 26th birthday, he's just, him and my son are two months apart. My, my son just turned 26 in April as well. And uh, I just kind of going in shock. I didn't relapse or anything. And I did try to get a hold of my probation officer. I was just hoping to get reinstated and it's the last chance I could have to just follow through with probation and be a success story for it. All right, the court is going to revoke you in each cause number. Does anyone wish to speak to punishment? All right, defense, what are you requesting? Your Honor, would, uh, would, would uh, request the lowest you can give me for now. All right, and each cause number, the court will sentence you to six years in the prison. Give you credit for any time served. Uh, each cause number will run concurrently. And the cause number ending in 1478, there's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Deborah, D E B R A, Marie Neuenfeldt. and Pamela Pettis. There's a $500 fine. Time and money will run concurrent. And in the cause number ending in 5264, again, there's an affirmative finding of family violence, no contact with Deborah Marie Neuenfeldt and Pamela Pettis. And there's a $500 fine, time and money to run concurrent. All right, did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? All right, you do have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you were on community supervision. Because in each of these cause numbers, this is a felony conviction and also an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, who is here on Destiny Valadez? All right, are you all ready to proceed? We are. All right, court is calling 2023 CR7760, State of Texas versus Destiny A. Valadez. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense? Matthew Brown, your honor. And are you Miss uh, Destiny Valadez? Yes, ma'am. All right, you entered a plea on August 12, 2024, no contest. According to the plea bargain agreement, Punishments be assessed at two years in the state jail facility. The state is silent on your recommendations. I mean, on your recommendation. The state took into consideration three cause numbers. Uh, both parties agreed to waive the PSI and just proceed on the TAP evaluation. 
Have both parties had a chance to review the TAP evaluation state? Yes. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. Any objection to the TAP evaluation state? Defense? No, Your Honor. All right. Uh, state is silent. Defense, do you have any witnesses? Uh, we do not, Judge. Just argument. And if you would like to inquire of the defendant. All right. The court will hear argument. So, Judge, having looked back at her criminal history, which is one of the things that you ordered two weeks ago when we were here. Yes. There is some history, and we can't deny that. But if you go back and look at it, it's the most recent cases outside of the current one from 2016. And those are simple failed ID cases. Okay. Um, there are no no felony convictions for, for Ms. Valadez. Um, there's couple of items from 2013, 2011, 2010. So it's it's pretty old things and it's all misdemeanors. Um, we think that she would benefit for, from some structure, which I believe probation could provide her. She does have uh, children that her mother is taking care of. She's the mother, she informs me, has, has told her to that she could live with her. However, she's got to find a job before that happens. So Ms. Valdez has reached out to Haven for Hope and discussed with them the potential of living there should the court allow her to be placed on probation. Um, and also we point out with the TAP that um, there's no drug and alcohol um, criteria for abuse or dependence and that substance abuse is not, that treatment's not recommended at this time. So we would ask based upon those factors that the court would grant the application for probation in this case. All right, anything you wish to say? All right, you're whispering. I just want to get a chance to help my mom, my kids, and be able to get a chance to get a job. Raise right, your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Destiny and Barnabas. All right, so you say you want to help your mom with your children. How many children do you have? Okay. What are their ages? 21, 12, 10, and 9. And I'm also a grandma. Wait, 21, 12? And I'm assuming you're the grandmother from the 21 year old. Okay, you're whispering. She has three kids. So she has three children. What are their ages? Five, two, and one. All right. So maybe she was 20 with the one year old, and then the two year old, 19, and then we have a five year old. Why is she having a child at that age? Um, where were you? My mom actually adopted my kids. All right. So why did your mom have to adopt your children? Um, back in, I want to say 2012, I was going through some things with my father. Um, bunch of mental and um, physical abuse with him. He's no longer a part of my life. He's... All right. So anyway, if your mother adopted your children, that means there probably was a CPS case, correct? All right, so that means that you didn't do your CPS plan. I, I did my CPS plan. My mom talked to me to, that it was best to do the uh, adoption. She pushed for the adoption. If you were to look into my CPS, I was not um, terminated my rights. My mom asked me if I would say No, that. your rights have to be terminated in order for your children to be adopted. There can be no adoption without termination of parental rights. And, and I know CPS normally does not terminate parents' rights because their spouse or their partner is abusive. Where the termination comes in is when you're doing everything that you're supposed to do and they tell you that you can no longer be with the abusive spouse. And usually people go back to the spouse. You're smiling when I say that. So what happened? All right, so why are you being dishonest with the court and making it seem as though, oh, they didn't terminate my rights. I, you know, I did everything and I wanted my mom to have my children when in reality, no, in reality, they gave you a choice. You can go to jury trial, a jury will make a decision to terminate your rights or not, or either you can have your rights terminated and then someone else will adopt. And so what ended up happening is you chose your man over your children. That's what happened. So why are you pretending that you need to help your mother with your children when your rights have been terminated? She's the parent, not you. You are no longer their parent. You're their biological parent, but legally you're not their parent. 
And why are you stealing other people's identifying information? All right. Is there anything else? No, Your Honor. All right. This is what the court is going to do. The court previously stated the court had found you guilty. The court is going to sentence you to two years in the state jail facility. Give you credit for any time served. There's a $1,500 fine. Time and money will not run concurrent. The court previously, um, according to your pre plea bargain agreement, is taking in consideration the following JN numbers, 6786783246788325678326. There's to be a restitution and no contact with Christopher Geyer, G-E-I-E-R-A. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing, stop using your children. Stop using your children to get out of criminal cases that are of your own making. You knew that legally you were not the parents of these children. You knew that your mother was raising them you're not raising them at all. And if you truly love your children, which I hope you do, the choices that you've made up till now shows that you put yourself above your children and put a man above your children. That's why your mother has them. But do one thing in your life for them. And this is what you should do. Don't go stay with your mom because you're not having your life in order. You have no plans to get your life in order. You're just there to continue this cycle of using people. You need to stop. Go to the state jail facility, get your life in order. If you have a drug issue, get the drug issue in order. Don't come knocking on the door trying to be a parent. Don't go knocking on the door being a bad influence to your grandchildren. Do you understand? All right, good luck to you. Thank you, counsel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on true crime stories from around the world. Until next time, take care.